Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. Thank you for being here with me today, Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. Dum, 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 dum. Aries, Aries. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, please understand this is a general tarot reading. Anything being said here may be vice versa or interchangeable, guys. Okay. Let's get it cracking. Let's see who the freak is coming to the Aries from Paris. Okay. You got all these cards already. Go ahead and follow now, okay? All right. What's coming to Aries in love? What do we have, spirit? What is coming to the Aries in love? Aries. 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 Oh, Aries, you have addictions. You have open for love. Hmm. Well, let's see what addictions mean for you, Aries in love. What's coming? Many suitors. So you have many, many options, Aries. But then you have past life. You will have many options. Okay, so I'm getting somebody who may have had addictions or problems opening up their heart or childhood traumas or something like that. Could be wanting to, like... Could be feeling more open to love right now. They're trying, okay? Somebody in this situation is trying. Okay, let's see. What's coming to Aries in love? What do we have, please? What's coming to Aries in love? Mm-hmm. is coming to Aries in love. Aries, Aries, Aries. I'm getting you could definitely be dealing with an air sign. I am getting air energy. Mm, so Aries, you have the four of wands and the ace of cups. What's coming to Aries in love? Aries. Wow. What the heck, Aries? Look at you. You got you some love that is being delivered to your door, honey. You sure do. Absolutely. You have an opportunity with the King of Cups here. Doesn't matter the sign, but it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We do have, um, you know, Earth energy with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm also getting another Aries. Was coming to Aries in love. So I do feel like somebody wants to open themselves to love. For sure. Aries. Oh my God. You better not mess this up, Aries. <laughs> Don't mess this up, honey. We were rooting for you. We all were rooting for you. I know I was. I'm getting Aries that some of you could be dealing with two people. We have a King of Cups and a King of Wands. Okay, Leo energy. The Two of Swords could be talking about, you know, a choice between these two people. I feel like you're definitely dating. You will be dating. But, you know, I feel like both of these people want more than just, like, dating with you. So there are intentions to be with you. You know, there's major potential here with whoever is in your life right now or is coming to you. It's saying that you definitely have many suitors. I feel like you have amazing chemistry with someone in particular. There's an opportunity for love and not just love, but for a relationship as well. Two of Cups, Nine of Cups, my goodness, Eight of Wands. You think some of you, this could be like someone who's long distance. Two of Swords for Aries in love, Two of Swords reverse. Judgment, reverse the Five of Swords. I feel like it's saying that you need to leave like 
some kind of situation um like whatever you've experienced you need to leave that at the door i just heard that like because i'm seeing someone taking their shoes off at the door before they go in so because i feel like you have a lot of trust issues someone has a lot of trust issues to where they think okay well this person's probably going to take advantage of me or hurt me uh, just like the others you know this person may have an ulterior motive this person may you know, I feel like someone's assuming all kind of worst case scenarios, but that's not what it is at all. Couldn't be furthest from the truth. You know, so I feel like spirit is trying to get someone to clear their mind, clear your thoughts, shh, hush your thoughts, okay? And understand that. And see what's in front of you. You got to realize there's love around you. Spirit, you know, two of swords reverse is saying, we got to realize that. Open your, if you just open your ears, you know, open your eyes, you will notice that you have the person that is meant for you already around you. Or whenever this person come towards you, you're going to realize that. Okay. You're going to feel it. Your heart is going to be telling you so. Nine of swords. I, someone's in their mind about this offer. Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like this person could definitely be it. Aries. It's saying past life, so I do feel like there's a past life connection here. I'm also hearing to try something new. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. Gemini energy. And yes, for some of you, you do have a choice between two people. It's up to you. I can't tell you who to choose, okay? But with both of those people, you have love available. For those of you, it's, it, it could just be one person, okay? I feel like Spirit is saying, look, you just need, someone needs to be open and receptive to love and to giving it. coming to Aries in this last situation. You know, allow yourself to be happy for once. Allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself to see the bigger picture. You know, allow yourself to, it's nothing wrong with being happy. Because I feel like Aries, I'm hearing something about someone feeling like happiness is always taken away from them or it's it's you know it never stays around for long or something it's like spirit saying like look allow yourself to feel excited to feel happy again you don't have anything to worry about now again this may not even be you that needs to hear it um aries could be the person you're dealing with you're dating so if you feel some kind of apprehension from them for time to time that's why okay but I feel like you and this person are still going to continue on. It's not a situation to where their heart is closed. I feel like they do get scared at times, but their heart is still open to trying this out. So you don't have to worry about them like ghosting you or saying, you know what I'm saying? At all. Okay. Someone has a lot of anxiety. I'm hearing that song by LMA. Feelings so deep in my feelings. Know the same really like me. Can't control my anxiety. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Like, you got someone's making your heart beat fast. <laughs> it just won't stop. It go by. Boot up. So, Aries, you'll find yourself boot up. If it's not right now, very soon, you're going to find yourself boot up. So deep in my feelings, secret crush, unexpected, surprise, unpredictable, shocking, soulmates. You will know, like I'm telling you, like you will feel it deep down in your soul. Like, look, this person is my soulmate. You're like, don't ask me how. I'm telling you, you would just feel it. Addictions came out twice. Toxic attachment. Drugs, alcohol, obsession. The addiction could really just be like any kind of mindset that could be limiting someone from, you know, having love in their life. It doesn't have to be anything crazy with the addiction card. But, I mean, 
I don't know what else to tell you, Aries. Who is this person for Aries? Aries, I'm going to go ahead and um, extend this reading. That way it can ease, ease your mind a little bit more if you're worried, okay? Uh, we could take check out this person's true, true feelings for you, their true intentions, and what is likely to happen. What is the best outcome for you and this person? We will pull charms to confirm who you're dealing with, okay? And some additional messages, oracle cards from them. Who is this person for Aries? What do we have? This could be a Pisces, okay? This person could be an athlete. Who's this person for Aries in love? Who are they? This is someone who's apparently very athletic, someone that you go, go to the gym with um, or go to the gym. You have nature and outdoors. We have Capricorn. Mm-hmm. This person has tattoos. They could be a healthy eater. They're very sexy. Mm -hmm. We like that. We do like that. Very charming. Okay. Synchronicity. And then we also have Leo. And I'm, guys, I'm getting um, Aries that even if this is not someone like completely new to you, then this could even be someone who's obviously you've known for some time or whatever. And maybe back then they weren't open to love, okay? But now they want to explore that with you because they already feel like, look, me and, this, me and Aries have great chemistry. You know, we're just amazing together. So why not explore this? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you and that person was just casual or something. So all right, please look for the extended link down in the comments and I will talk to you guys soon.